If the tongue registers something sweet and it signals the brain that sends a, me sends a message and the body stimulates insulin production that can affect ketosis, even if the sugar is an approved keto sugar, does the body still work the same? And if the body still works the same, even if it's keto sugar, why are there so many recipes for dessert? <laughs> so, so if the body, if the tongue is smart enough to elicit an insulin response without even consuming, then why are we allowed to eat boca sweet or erythritol or monk fruit, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of the, the heart of the question. So that's called the cephalic phase insulin response. It's a mouthful. Cephalic, yeah, cephalic phase insulin response. And it is a normal biological process. And it's kind of part of this whole uh, system in your body, like this preprandial system, this before the foods even reached my stomach, right? I'm chewing, um, that's preprandial and down in, you know, prandial and whatever, postprandial is all part of the body's way of getting your system ready for what it thinks is coming, right? So gastric um, juices start flowing and your saliva starts going and insulin comes out. So during this cephalic phase insulin response, it's not that much insulin where it's going to have a, a marked impact on your ketosis. So I would not be too concerned with this response and so what we were talking about when we discussed this before was if you're in a plateau and you are, you know that you're insulin resistant, you're di type 2 diabetic, you have metabolic disorder, this is something to look at. Right. It, this is a tool. This is, uh, a f you know, when you're having a plateau, somebody has, yep. was, was asking about plateaus, it's a way to kind of dial in your diet a little bit further if you're having a problem. For the majority of people, uh, I would not be so concerned with the cephalic phase insulin response. We have been eating, like I said, we've been eating a lot of cupcakes, and I'm sure every time that I'm tasting something sweet, even though there's not a lot in there, uh, I'm getting somewhat of an insulin response. I'm the, getting, a, and I've been testing, I'm getting about 10 points. Yeah. The good thing is, the longer you're on the keto diet, hopefully the more insulin sensitive you are becoming, and your body will just clear that out really quickly. Like it just uses insulin for what it's supposed to use it for, clear the glucose out of your blood, and then you're, you're back to normal. So why are we allowed to have desserts on keto? Well, so I'm working on this keto cupcake cookbook, and if you guys want a special offer when that's released, make sure you get on my email list. That's wholebodyliving.com backslash email. So make sure you get on that list. And I'm focusing on healthy ingredients in the cupcakes. So we're using things like coconut flour and acacia fiber, things that will help your body in other ways. So because if we're going to make keto a sustainable diet over the long term, we have to face the fact that our lives, our social lives, revolve around food. We get together for birthday parties. We get together for celebrations around food. I mean, think about it. Graduation, birthdays, funerals, weddings. Everything we celebrate in life, holidays, right? We have Easter coming up. Everything we celebrate in life revolves around food. So the key to making keto sustainable over the long term is having delicious desserts you can enjoy. Right, and we were even kind of joking this weekend about how the ingredients in these cupcakes, even though they're a dessert, almost make them a health food. Yeah. Right? So allulose, which is one of our you know, a favorite of ours for an alternative sugar, right, was first being studied as a drug for diabetes. As was Boca Sweet. As was, yeah, as was Boca Sweet. So some of these rare sugars, when they were first discovered, they had properties that actually help to regulate blood glucose levels. And they're like, geez, we could, we could do something with diabetes with these until they realized that they, you know, they're a natural product. So they're kind of hard to regulate and, and keep from the public. But um, so we're, you know, most of the ingredients in our, our desserts are very healthful. Um, not that we want to eat them to excess because I think there's a mindset thing that still exists around that food. Absolutely. But we're trying to make them as healthy as possible. 
And, you know, keto becomes more sustainable when you know, hey, my birthday's coming up. Yeah. I don't, I can stay on plan and have a delicious cupcake that's so good that I don't even want the real thing anymore. I mean, I feel like I'm bragging right now, but my cupcakes are amazing. And there may be a few of you on here who've tried my desserts and feel free to chime in. <laughs> All right. Is that enough on? Yeah, I think we answered the question. That's your uh, term of the day, cephalic phase insulin response. <laughs> CPIR is what yeah, he has down CPIR. there. CPIR.